Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Jimmy Agig. So, Intel has basically announced their unofficial version of the i7 of 5th generation. It is called i7 5x20K, i7 5930K, and then i7 5960K. So, the main point of this processor is it will support DDR4. It will not support DDR3, it will support DDR4. If you watch my video two months old, most of guys are extremely screaming at me and then telling me I don't know what the hell I'm saying in that video I have said two months back I said do not buy DDR3 wait for DDR4 do not buy a new processor wait for a new upcoming uh, processor of, of the fifth generation which will support DDR4 but the guys are saying what should I use in my computer DDR4 will be so expensive there is no processor upcoming there is no motherboard upcoming all this bullshit after two months I have proven right you can check my old video I have said Within two months, there is going to come a new processor will, will, which will support DDR4. Only we have to wait for around within one month. The ma major manufacturer like ASUS, Gigabyte, M MSI, they are going to announce, announce the new motherboard for the new processor. So basically, this processor use the LG uh, 11, uh, LG2, LGA 2011 socket. Basically, this processor use it, but but the problem is that you cannot use this the new processor which is called Haswell E on the normal LGA 2011 basically this socket is called LGA 2011-3 dash 3 is the indication that you can only use the Haswell E processor not the genuine Haswell you can use the fourth generation Haswell you have to use the fifth generation Haswell which is called Haswell E Basically, I will say Intel really needs some kind of new name. Basically, from Ivy Bridge has it makes sense. Why the hell they need to use the E? They can use some kind of good well, bad well, nothing well. I don't know why the hell they use for the fifth generation of their processor has well E. Basically, we have, we have a very good name from uh, Intel naming their processor Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge, has well, and then what the hell is as well E? Anyway, the socket is 2011 3. You cannot you cannot use the vice versa processor with the phone generation or you cannot use this processor in the normal 2011 LGS socket and then let me clear some things this processor the, the base model will cost around $300 and it will be the first 6 core major processor from Intel which, is, which, which will be released from the i7 base model it will have the hyper threading capability which will act as 12 core 12 core for from $300 and then we'll get a lot of bank of money. The problem is that the problem is it does not have much higher color we are expecting like around over 4 gigahertz. It has 3.3 gigahertz to, to 3.8 gigahertz clock base. I mean at a turbo boss. Nothing special. It has 15 megabyte of cache and then it has 140 watt TDP from respond. Nothing so high like it does not really need some kind of more electricity nothing like that it's a good processor i will buy and then let's move on to the 600 dollar one that is called i7 5930k it is the same 6 core 12 core hyper threading processor it has 15 megabyte of ram but the but this processor support up to 4 giga 4 gigahertz clocks base i mean turbo base the the base model i7 5 i7 5820k support only up to 3.8 and this will support up to 4 but it will cost a lot it will cost 6600 dollar of course i will buy the base model you should not even think about buying the middle model it doesn't make sense we really need the higher end model which is called i7 5960k which is the extreme edition this have 8 core plus 16 core hyper trading 16 core this bloody core are going to Take the work done so quick, so fast, you couldn't believe. But the clock base is about 3 gigahertz and 3.3 gigahertz. You could say the higher end, the $1,000 i7 5th generation only, only have the 3.3 gigahertz compared to the i7, the base mode have 3.8 gigahertz because it has more core, it have basically it has 16 core, 8 core genuine and uh, extra 8 core will, which will be equal to 16 core in the hyper threading mode so let me get something clear it is a fifth generation of i7 it will export the ddr4 ram okay it will name as haswell e it will support the same lga 2011 socket with a different a little bit design which will be lga 2011 socket 
dash 3 so basically it will have around 40 percent faster performance than the i7 470k basically according to some report it can release in august or the maximum it can release in september basically intel cannot hold this processor because amd even is working on their 12 core processor even in amd is currently working on their hyper threading which can act as 24 core of course i will buy if amd come up with something like that so basically at the end of the day more core is nothing better at the end of the day the banker for example the 8 core processor even lose with the i5 the 4 core processor in some benchmark performance so i7 5820k you must buy i7 590k you must skip if we have a lot of money if you really need a higher end processor buy i7 5930k which will be the extreme edition which will have basically 8 core plus hyper threading 16 core but it will be have the, the lower clock base and the turbo base in both three processor which will be 3 gigahertz in normal speed and then 3.3 gigahertz turbo boss so let's see when this processor is coming basically i will say we are going to build a computer custom build hold your money just for one or two months just hold down and buy of course you know if you buy the i7 4 generation 470k which one is for ddr3 basically within one year your system will be outdated for ddr4 will we stay around up to four to five years it will be a future proof processor it will have the future proof ram you really don't need anything to upgrade only you need to upgrade your graphic card after two or three years i will hold your money save your money just wait for one or two months get this processor and then i'm really excited to hear which manufacturer is going to announce their first ddr4 ram in the consumer market and which manufacturer is going to announce the first ddr4 and then the first has what e processor working model but basically asus is even working on it asus is even working on it msi is working on it and now it's the gigabyte even is working on it in coming days we are going to hear a lot of this has well e processor and then its motherboard and its ddr4 ram uh, uh, support basically i'm excited i will buy the ice and 5820k around the 300 dollar version i really don't need the higher and extreme 300 dollar is i don't like wasting money of course i'm a geek of course i like everything fast i don't like wasting money that's all i will buy i sell 520k even you should buy i sell 520k okay now subscribe to my channel if you hate me please hate me if you like me please like me if you want to say what do you think about this process are you going to save the money are you going to hold on are you going to buy the current i sell 470 k are you excited for a ddr4 are you excited for the new upcoming motherboard which will for ddr4 ram and which will for due this new processor please leave your comment below and subscribe to my channel bye bye